Okay, I'm here to show you my uh, home-built steam motor. Uh, the compressor is, uh, the motor is actually from a compressor from a 1970s Cadillac. It's an air ride shock control compressor. The reason I chose it is because it's got a, a brass cylinder and uh, bearings in the connecting rod with a counterweight, which I could not machine. Since I don't even have a drill press, I had to do everything by hand. It's a flywheel from a 20 some odd cc weed whacker. The uh, eccentric cam between the washers is a uh, home cast. The bearing saddle uh, is home cast with a, a bronze uh, bushing for the uh, last side of the bearing. Then I've used a uh, discarded propane tank. I cast some uh, aluminum mounts for it. And then I made a camping stove, which you can find online, which is a Coke can stove. It heats itself up and causes uh, pressure to develop inside the sealed can. So it burns like a real stove would. works real nice. And uh, I've, for right now, I'm just using a petcock as my pressure relief valve. You can see we're getting up here with some pressure of 50 pounds. And I have a uh, digital voltage meter with a probe. On the back, we're at about 256 degrees, and you can see here, I just used two rare earth magnets sandwiched over the uh, sensor probe uh, on the back side away from the fire. And I'll go ahead and uh, try to fire this thing up. Get it over off top dead center. And as you can see, this thing is a real, real volume hog. So out of uh, 70 pounds, we're down to 19. So I don't get a real lot of run time. But I've got to uh, go ahead and put a superheater in the tube coming off the tank to the compressor so that I'm not actually getting some water coming out of that line so I can maximize my heat. So hope you enjoyed it. This is pretty much YouTube inspired. And uh, hope to see you guys posting your own makes. Alright, have a good one.